K Psalm 90. I just want to share something with somebody that will help you. I believe it will bless you. I believe it will help you. Amen. Pastor will be joining us tomorrow. I expect a great shout. So I'll be joining us tomorrow. And this meeting will enter another dimension. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, Psalm 90. You know, Pastor declared 50 days of glory. You know, since he declared it, you know, we have testimonies everywhere. Testimonies everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Breakthroughs everywhere. In some cases, they are happening within 24 hours. Within 24 hours. They are happening within what? 24 hours. And somebody under the sound of my voice, before this year is over, you will testify. Yeah. I say before this year is over, you will testify. Yeah. It will be your turn to testify. Yeah. Maybe others are testifying and you are wondering, when will I testify? I have an answer for you. Before the 31st of December. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Okay. Psalm 90. Um, let me read verse 14. You know, David prayed a prayer. David prayed a prayer and that was one of the most amazing prayers I have seen in the Bible. You know, people talk about dangerous prayers. Releasing Holy Ghost fire to kill people. Amen. This is a dangerous prayer. Can we read together? One to go. Oh, satisfy us early with your mercy. That we may rejoice and be glad. How many of our days? Can we pray together? One to go. Oh, satisfy me early. I can't hear you. Lord, satisfy me early. Don't satisfy me late. If you want to bless me, start on time. I can't hear you. You want to bless me, start on time. You want to lift me, start on time. You want to make me a millionaire. Start on time. Don't make me a millionaire like Abraham at the age of 75. So David prayed this prayer. You know, he was anointed a king at 17. By 30, he was reigning. By 30, he was on the throne because God began early with him. Can I hear an amen? Somebody under the sound of my voice, God will begin early with you. Hallelujah. Some of you, before this conference is over, things should have started happening in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody under the sound of my voice, you used to wait till October, November before things begin to happen. But in 2016, they will begin early. In 2016, they will begin in January. By February, things are happening. By March, things are happening. If you believe that, can I hear a big amen? Come on, give me a louder amen. amen. I'm talking to somebody. Hallelujah. Okay, satisfy us early with your mercy. You know, Psalm 90 is loaded. Loaded. Let's go to verse 4 because, you know, I, I, I need to show you something so that you understand. What David was saying to God, <laughs> my timing and your timing are not the same. Don't treat me based on your time. You want to treat me, treat me based on what? On my own time. So, you know, we can see in verse 4. He said, for a thousand years, in your sight, I but yesterday, Lord, you sit in eternity. A thousand years will pass. It's as if just yesterday passed. <laughs> but when a thousand years passes for me, I am finished. Do I have a witness in the house? He said a thousand years is like what? Like yesterday in your sight. When it is past, and as what? A watch in the night. A night watch. Amen? A thousand years passes, it's just like one hour has passed. Because Lord, you live in eternity. But me, I live in time. In dealing with me, you must realize, oh Lord, that I live in time. I don't live in eternity. Is somebody following me? Okay. So, he continues the argument. Verse 10. Verse 10. 
He was reasoning with God. Can we read verse 10 together? He says, the days of our years are what? Are three score years and what? And ten. And if by reason of what? They become what? So he said, Lord, I have only 70 years. Three score and ten. Seventy. If by reason of strength, I can extend it to eighty. I can extend it to ninety. I can extend it to hundred. I can extend it to one twenty. Praise the Lord. But you live in what? In eternity. A thousand years passes. is as if nothing has passed. Me, I have a very short time to stay here. So anything you want to do, Lord, start it on time. You want to call me into the ministry. Don't call me at the age of 80 like Moses. Call me on time. Can we say it together, Lord? Lord. You want to call me? Call me on time. You want to bless me? Bless me on time. I don't have eternity. Hallelujah. Lord, you want to give me a husband? Don't give me a husband when I'm 40. Don't wait until I'm 40. Don't wait until I'm 50. I don't have more time. Lord, you stay in eternity. Don't use eternity to treat me. Please, can we say it together? Lord, Lord you, stay you stay in eternity. I stay in time. Stay. Don't use eternity to treat me. Treat me based on time. And satisfy me early. If you are with me, can I hear a big amen? Amen. May God answer that prayer for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I say may God answer that prayer for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, don't give me a child. You know, at the age of 50. An example, when I was in primary school. Primary school. My father already had gray hair. Because the parents of my friends were looking young. No gray hair. My father, gray hair. I was in primary school. So he will come to pick us from school. I will tell my friends that this is our driver. <laughs> I'm telling you true life story. This is our driver. Because my father married at 45. I don't know what he was waiting for. May you not wait in 45 in Jesus' name. <laughs> all these wise men from the east who want to make all the money. <laughs> 45 was when he married. So by the time I was in primary one, he was 51. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I was not the child of the youth. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I didn't understand it. How can my father have gray hair? And I'm still like this. So I said, he's our driver. <laughs> May your children not call you their driver. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to give me a baby start on time can I hear an amen? amen you want to bless me start on time so that I can enjoy it for a long time you want to bless me in a year start on time so that I can enjoy it for the rest of the year and that will be your portion in the name of Jesus I say that will be your portion in the name of Jesus Psalm 118. So that's what David prayed. He was negotiating with God and showing God we live in two time zones. Function with me with my time zone, Lord. So that things can be happening fast. At the age of 30, he was already a king. At the age of 30, he was sitting on the throne. Can I hear a big amen? Many people under the sound of my voice. Things will begin to happen so fast for you. So early for you. So fast for you. God will grant you speed in the name of Jesus Christ. And it will not take a long time. You arrive at where you are planning to be. The same way David arrived at the throne. At 30. Praise the Lord. Joseph at 30 was already a prime minister. Solomon at 30 was already the wisest and the richest man in the world. Amen. amen. I said amen. amen. Okay, Psalm 118, verse 25. Because I just want to drop one key tonight. Because there's one key. Amen. That makes things happen fast. 
makes things to happen very fast. And I will show you as I read Psalm 118. Now, is David again praying? Can we read it together? Save now. I beseech thee what? Oh Lord. Somebody say now. I can't hear you. Say now. Not tomorrow. Not five years time. Not seven years time. Save now. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I beseech thee. Send. I can't hear you. Send. Is it prosperity of 2019? He says, send now prosperity. Send now prosperity. Send now prosperity. Do I have a witness in the house? How many people need prosperity now? You need a breakthrough now. Something needs to happen now. Can I hear an amen? amen. In the convention we had somewhere, you know, a particular lady, she's into clearing and forwarding. He says she has not cleared anything from January till that time. Till that time. Convention held in November. From January, she has not even cleared an ant. She has not cleared. Hallelujah. And in the middle of the convention, an announcement was made that people will have 24 hours miracle. And she cast it into it. Amen. <laughs> By the next day, they called on phone and it was a multinational company. And they gave her a job to Claire and paid her cash in 24 hours. What has not happened from January till now? Till now. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Within these 30 days, the God that created the whole world in six days will show up in your life. Will show up in your case. Will show up in your situation. Will show up and give you a harvest. Will intervene on your case. And somebody under the sound of my voice, your own will happen within 24 hours. I say within 24 hours. Praise the Lord. Okay, save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send prosperity. Verse 26. Verse 26 gives us the key to now prosperity. The key to now salvation. The key to now healing. The key to now deliverance. The key to now intervention. Can we read it together? Want to go. Blessed be he that cometh what? In the name of the Lord, we have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. One more time. Blessed be he that cometh what? In the name of the Lord, we have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Simply put, the key to now prosperity is a prophet. Is a prophet. Anytime God wants for things to happen for people immediately, for things to happen for people soon, he sends a prophet. He sends a man of God. Please, tell somebody for me. Anytime God wants something to happen fast, God wants something to happen immediately, he sends a prophet. Can I hear a big amen? amen? Can I hear a louder amen? amen? Now, you need to understand something. There is the normal order of things. And there is a prophetic order. In this Maranatha, you will experience the prophetic order. Amen. Is somebody listening to me? Your amen is too dull. I say you experience the prophetic order. Amen. Because from this night, of course, it started last night, to this night, Throughout the rest of the program, God is sending us prophets. He's sending us men of God. Can I hear a big amen? And he's sending us our father on another level. Now, the normal order. I'll give you an example. The normal order of prayer. I don't have the time. I'll, I'll even show you scriptures. There's a woman called, a woman in the Bible, Anna. You know, the Bible said every year, Anna will come for a convention. And she will be praying. She will pray. The next year she came again praying. Another year. You know, if you can find it, you can project it. Every year she comes because she was barren. She was barren, crying to God. Lord, do something. Lord, there's a woman called Penina. She's Penina in me, tormenting my life that I don't have a baby. Intervene. Convention will finish and nothing will happen. Next convention, Anna will come again. 
another convention, Anna will come again. And a particular convention, Anna came. And she was praying, crying before the altar. But this particular time, there was a man of God sitting in the temple. His name was what? His name was what? Not Zachariah. His name was what? His name was Eli. So he turns to, he turns to the woman. He said, when will you stop shacking? Why are you still drinking? And the woman said, I'm not drunk. I did not drink. It's sorrow of heart. Sorrow of heart that is making me pray like a mad woman. And then I turned. He said, wipe your eyes. Wipe your tears. For according to the time of life, by this time next year, you have a baby. Who answered the prayer? It's true that God answered. But physically, who answered it? Eli answered it. All the while she has been praying. Pray, 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 pray. The prayer was taking time to answer. Okay? It's possible the, the angels bringing the baby were still coming down with the baby. And they were fighting the prince of Persia or prince of somewhere. But that particular day, Eli was there. And the prophet has angels. The angels don't come from heaven. The angels are on earth. Can I hear an Amen. And these four days, the angels that are working in your situation are here. Amen. I said they are not coming from heaven. I said they are here. Amen. I said they are here. Amen. We have been in crusades. We have passed all the clear. There are more angels here than the human beings in this city. That's the angels that back him as a minister of the gospel. And we'll see all kinds of wonders, all kinds of miracles. Can I hear an amen? amen? Please, let's welcome Pastor Mike as he comes. Welcome, sir.